In SOLIDWORKS 2024, they've removed the actual integrated uh, rendering system. So now you have to use SOLIDWORKS Visualize. And I just wanted to go through very quickly the basics on that. So let's say you have a part like I have here. Inside SOLIDWORKS, you want to set this up. And so, like, if you have real view graphics, that's great. Not all graphics cards support it, so some of you might have some that looks more like that. Either one is fine. It doesn't matter for SOLIDWORKS Visualize. But go in and feel free to set the backgrounds as you see it here. I'm going to go with plain white. And then I'm going to go over here and select the surface that I want to change the color of or the body. Go to the beach ball with the pencil and hit the little arrow to the right of it. And you can see you could actually go to the settings and right over here there's this silver ball now this is for the entire part if you want to have it be affected so you click on that and then you could choose from different materials so let's say if i wanted that to be uh, brass and there's all these different brass materials i could just click on it and you see it applies it and you can just hit the green check now if you want to adjust just a single face like let's say i want this face right here I could go back, click on it, click on the beach ball, and right here just find face. And then I could either change the colors here, or I could select a different color, a different metal, or in this case, I'll go with painted, and I'm going to go with car. And let's say I want that to be red, so I could click on the red color. And you could do that to all different faces and even features. And unfortunately here, you can't actually render it in here, but what you can do, you could go to tools and make sure this little thing there, SOLIDWORKS here, you could by the pull down, go to tools, go to add ins and make sure on here you select the SOLIDWORKS visualize, check both this box and this box. So at startup, it will come up as well as over here. Now, once you do that, there should be a SOLIDWORKS Visualize tab. You could click on this and there's advanced export, but we're just going to do export simple. So click on that. And then what it does is it launches Visualize. And in this case, I'm getting a little message that I don't have a, a compatible graphics card, but that's okay. I'll show you how to adjust that if you get that message. So here you could see now you could use the scroll and rotate. You could see it enhanced the image. But if you want it to perform better, you could click on Tools, go to Options, and 3D Viewport. And here I actually have a AMD card in here, not a, uh, NVIDIA. It depends on which one you have. If you don't have either one of those, just go with 3DS Stellar Physics. But um, if you have one of these graphics cards from NVIDIA or AMD, you could select either or. And you hit OK, and then it will use the graphics card actually along with the processor and a hybrid type of rendering. So you get it the way you like it inside SOLIDWORKS and you bring it in. And then here you could click on this and there's a fast render, which is usually just good enough. You could click on that and it, uh, give it some time. You'll see down below it's doing the calculations, the process, the passes, and it just goes to 100. And in this case, it's just using the CPU, CPU itself. And that's pretty good. I could take that image now and hold, if you are if you have Windows 11, you could hold the Windows key, Shift, and the S key, all three of those. And you'll be able to, it turns gray like this. And you can just click here in this window and drag a fence to surround your rendering. And in the lower right corner, if you're on Windows 11, it'll say that it saved it to your pictures directory. Otherwise, what you do is you just bring up like Microsoft Word, or paint and here i'll just push this in i'm actually on a 4k monitor but i could click here and i could right click and paste and it will paste it right into a word document also it could paste it into a google document as well as um, libreoffice if you don't have a regular office libreoffice is free and that's it so that's how you can make a quick rendering inside the software if you want very high quality you could set this to higher or accurate and it will take longer, but it will ultimately look even better. But I find fast is really good. Not all graphics cards support fast, but um, you could get this accurate. This would only be if you had an extra unit attached to your system that could uh, output that. But that's about it.